Alrighty. Um, so it seems like the call from the telemarketer, scammer, whatever, uh, canceled that about two thirds of the way through. So I'm just going to redo this last one, but uh, instead of just repeat it. So here's the lid. And I don't know if it got captured because I watched the whole thing, but I'm going to put heat sets in each of these holes here so that when I screw it together, um, you can unscrew it and screw it at the same time. So the way I do that is first things first, let's pan down here like this, is I'm going to use these heat sets just like this. And then I'm going to use what looks like a soldering iron because, um, well, it is. It's just got a fancy tip on it, and it's not that fancy. And I'm going to plug it in. Okay. And then I'm going to take these heat sets. And this is for order 7217. I'm going to take this heat set, just this little tiny thing right there, and I'm going to put it on top of the lid, which I 3D printed, and it's on. Okay, uh, if you didn't know, I learned this in the Air Force, uh, if you want to test the heat something with your hand, which you probably shouldn't, but you're going to do it anyways. Test it with your hand like this, because your instinct is if it's, if you touch it accidentally, is to pull your hand towards you. Whereas if you do this, your instinct is to grip, and that would be bad, right? So, always like this. So, you just put the tip in here, and then I'm going to hold it there. See if I can, no, can't get in. I'm just going to hold it there and then it's slowly going to sink in to the plastic. Okay, and then pull it out. Okay, sometimes you might want to press the plastic back together so that it's got a good fit. And take another one. And again, I'm just, uh, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do this. Okay, you see that? And then I'm going to put it right here on the plastic. And I'm just going to push down. The hotter the iron gets, the faster it happens. Until a point where it, it actually happens too quickly. And by that, the iron's so hot, it sometimes bubbles away the plastic. And then you have a bad fit. So you just you kind of got to, to get it at the right temperature. So like that one goes in like super fast. And then here... Okay, like that. And then, you know, the trick is you've got to let it cool down so that it doesn't burn everything up, including itself. Let's move that away. Okay, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, so I'm going to take this and we're going to fit it into here. Let's get that stray hair off. Okay. Oh, needs a little trim. And where are my snips? I've got everything out here. And I can't find, okay, well, I'm just going to use these. So what I'm doing is this was soldered, obviously, onto this keypad, but this needs to be trimmed down so that uh, it will connect to the case 
And I'm just going to snip that off quickly, uh, hopefully into the trash can. Sometimes I, I think that when I ever move out of this house or this um, place, I'm going to find thousands of little tiny pieces of metal all over the place because they sometimes fly away. All right, so I just fit it in like this. Now, the next part is genuinely the most pain in the butt process of by of buying these of uh, putting these together because they just oh, it's just so fiddly and I am not that cord in. So you got, got the 